what is going on my wonderful wonderful taurus it is scorpion reds here i am back at it again one time for the one time for the remix yes indeed to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the mid month of august the 15th through the 31st shout out to all my taurus who've clicked this video and has liked shared and subscribed at any point in time shout out to all of you guys thank you so much for all the love and the support to my page all right if there is anyone that is interested and ever showing love to the page or if you want to book a personal and private reading with scorpion reds tarot all you got to do is click that about tab on my youtube page you will see a whole bunch of wonderful links there go ahead and click that first link which is my booking link it says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me again scorpion reds tarot as simply book me and if you have any problems questions or concerns you can always feel free to email me at scorpion reds at gmail.com uh, but the booking link is the first link go ahead and select the type of reading that you want first you book with me then you link so um, right after you book your reading and you get your confirmation of your appointment date and everything make sure that you link up with me either on Google Hangouts and you can use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com you can send me a message on Google Hangouts and or you can click that link directly under my booking link which is my Instagram and we can do the video chat there all right you do have an option of a video chat or a direct upload and you also have the um, ability if you so you know you would like to purchase uh, an add-on to record your reading session okay so I typically do video live sessions um, a lot of people double back and say hey Rez what was that card that said this blah 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 so you guys have the option to record your reading so instead of asking me you could just go back and watch it um so there's an add-on in the description in regards to the menu for ordering so if you want to have a video recap and or if you don't want to get on camera and if you just want to send me your question and if you want me to do a pre-recorded um direct upload to youtube which is a private link that only me and you will have the access to you can feel free to purchase that add-on and when you send me a message just say hey rez um, i purchased the add-on but i don't want to get on camera here's my question and what you would do is just send me your question pertaining to the reading that you purchased but only tell me what you want to know don't tell me the meat and potatoes of what's going on surrounding the situation as to why you're asking me that question because I don't want you to tell me all of your business and then once I do the reading you'll be like but I just told you that you know so make sure that you only tell me what you want to know we're going to tap in the source and see what spirit has to say and then we'll double back up on the back end and see you know what you had to say and feel about it okay so again if you have any questions or concerns or if you would like to support the page um, my PayPal my cash app and my Amazon wish list is all in the about tab if you want to show some support if you have any questions about you know how to book or anything like that so thank you again um for all the love and support Taurus so let's get into the energy okay <sighs> Father God thank you so much for bringing us here for my sign of Taurus because Lord knows they would not ignore us this season come on and say it louder with your chest why don't you Father God let me try to tell you we are some bullheaded beast around this jump. Like, we not going for nothing. Nothing. Nathan. Nathaniel. Nansford. Nothing. Okay? We are not going for nothing that does not suit our best interests. Okay? So, we're standing up for ourselves. We're fighting back. In some situations, we're learning how to just peace be still and not, <laughs> you know not say something when it's about being calculated you know what i'm saying it's about it being the right place at the right time and i feel like a lot of the tourists are holding back their tongue waiting for the right place and the right time to address it because they're trying to be more uh have more perspective and be more respected have more perspective and be more respect it so it's about the way how you go about things and i feel like when they sit back and look at things from a different perspective you can be more respective you know what i'm saying you can move towards handling things in a more respectable manner you know what i'm saying instead of just kind of being bullheaded and just you know what i'm saying so father god thank you so much for 
all of this positive energy and this love and light um, that you've been giving us, Father God, please continue to uplift us. Please continue to give us uh, the fruits and, you know, daily nourishment throughout this time, Father God. Uh, thank you so much for our healing. Thank you so much for our growth. And just thank you so much for just being there with us every day um, throughout everything that we're facing throughout life. The good, the bad, and the ugly, and sure enough, the prosperous. So thank you again, Father God, for all of your divine light and your wisdom. Please give us guidance for my Taurus. Uh, and thank you again for all of the messages in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for my Taurus for mid-August the 15th through the 31st. You guys, I got a new deck here. See this musical oracle deck shout out to everyone who's been sending um those cash apps uh support uh what is it cash app uh paypal and i actually um another one of my supporters they just messaged me and let me know that another deck is coming um that y'all sent me through my Amazon wish list. Again, I thank you guys so much for the support. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to pour back into what I'm doing the way that I do um, to constantly give you guys some new flavor. So today we're going to tap into the, the sound and music of what's going on in our life. So, ooh, okay, just pop out like that. Pop out. Ooh, we got Nina Simone, Nina's Blues, and Patsy Smith. Okay. Okay, okay, let's see what Miss Nina Simone got to say here. So Miss Nina says, never trust cures from the system that made you sick. Pooh! Ha! Well, goddamn, goddamn. I do like green eggs and ham. Did you like how she just came through and just hit you with the back? You know what I'm saying? Right in your gut. Right in your gut. Nina says never trust cures from the system that made you sick when love is no longer on the menu don't eat there is nothing more beautiful than speaking truth to power hun nay come on black ebony queen you better speak forth and let your voice be heard today okay come on all right Miss Patsy Smith, what she got to say? She said, Jesus died for somebody's sins, but not yours. Learn to make peace with eternal dissatisfaction. The most powerful form of rebellion is of the spirit. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. So, <laughs> so this here say, Jesus died for somebody's sins, but it ain't yours. Learn to make peace with eternal dissatisfaction. The most powerful form of rebellion is from the spirit. So what I'm getting here is like. Jesus did not sacrifice himself for you to be going through this. You understand what I'm saying? You got to learn how to make peace with shit that is just not meant for you and it's not meant to be for you no matter what these people try to come and tell you to feed you propaganda and lies that make you feel more comfortable about the situation so they can continue to do what they are doing do not trust the cure from a system that made you sick in the first motherfucking place when love is no longer on the menu do not eat it God died for somebody's sins, but it damn sure wasn't that. It wasn't that. Do you hear what these two queens are saying? Okay? Salt and pepper. Ebony and ivory. Right here. One time for the one time. Two powerful queens came through and hit you with a gut punch. And this one right here, she said, listen, God died for somebody, but it wasn't this and it wasn't you and it wasn't your situation, baby. We're going to have to fix this right here on the 3D. Okay? You need to hear me, okay? We're going to have to fix this right now, okay? Because we're not about to continue with this. We're not about, I, you know what? I just give up with trying like this kind of. I just give up. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just not. I am just not even going to try to keep doing that. Just going to get me another candle. You're going to stop playing with me today. Okay, about to say now my damn lighter don't want to light, okay? You see how you see how I be trying to system. You see how I be trying to G? 
All right, so let's let's find out why spirit is saying this to us. I just I really do feel like someone is trying to come and trying to feed you some meat and potatoes that got something in it that you shouldn't be eating. It's like poison. Like these people are trying to poison you so that you can't see clearly. And they want you to trust the system. But it's like, if you just really recognize that I don't like the way that this tastes. And I wasn't sent here. God didn't put me here for me to be going through no shit like that. Once you get and find peace with the, satis with the dissatisfaction that you're feeling about this situation. That's when that rebellion starts. That's when your spirit starts to fight back. And you're not accepting just anything anymore. You understand? The Four of Wands. This most definitely has something to do with some type of marriage or commitment. I feel like someone just got back together. Queen of Cups. You guys could have just reconnected with like a Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio. This could either be a woman. That's a Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio. Or this could be a man. I'm being urged to say a man that acts more like a woman than a fucking man. I'm sorry, but that's what I heard. Like a man with extreme feminine qualities or something like that. Or this is someone who needs a woman with a lot of mothering, nurturing nature. This moon in reverse is something going on with this individual. Something going on with this individual. I, and, and I feel like maybe towards you are, they look at you as this queen of cups. Like, you're loving. You have a lot of charm and gifts. You have a lot of, uh like, artistic talents with you. You're a good cook. You're a good, like, you're, I mean... Not a stay-at-home mom. I don't see you being a stay-at-home mom. You're too into your art. You're too into creating, too much into creating things to want to be a stay-at-home mom. But at the same time, I really do feel like these this person needs some type of nurturing love from you. They feel like you could take care of them. They feel like you could take care of them. I want to say that this is a Pisces that y'all are dealing with. This water sign individual that y'all are dealing with is a Pisces. This person might only be connecting with you. I feel like this secret here with this moon and something in the shadows that is not being illuminated to you. Um, I don't feel like this relationship is this reconnection is based off of love. It's nearly it's based off of someone trying to this get rich quick scene, did this rag the riches type of thing like that. They're looking for someone to nurture and take care of them and give them a secure home environment. All the while, it is something that they're hiding. I feel like the real issue is this person's own internal insecurities about their self. Like, this person feels like they're not able to... Look, they're coming to you broke. They're coming to you poor. They're wanting you to divide your time and your assets with them to give to them. You understand? They feel like them coming over here, not only... You know, they'll be successful about the fact that you'll even allow this reconnection to happen. This is someone that you dealt with before. This is someone that I don't feel like this is a new engagement. This is not a new engagement. This is someone that you have dealt with before. This is a fish that you're putting back in the cup. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is somebody that you took care of before. And that's what this person looks at you like. Like you can take care of them. You could provide them a stable house, a stable home. That you can nurture them. Regardless of their insecurities and their faults and you know their imperfections. I really do feel like this person is like. Insecure about their abilities to take care of their self. They need someone to take care of them. Someone that will charitably give to them. And they see that in you. They see that in you. And it says never trust cures from a system that made you sick. So this is someone that made you sick. Like in the past, this person made you sick with anxiety, distrust, secrets lies manipulation it was something where you left this person in the cold before and this person is now bumming 
This person doesn't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. And they're looking to come to you for nourishment, being nurtured, and for you to be giving and kind. I feel like someone's coming to you with some type of sob story about... Oh, Lord Jesus. I feel like someone's coming to you about uh, with a sob story about their life. And I should have known it was always going to be you. That I will always come back to you. And that's what I'm hearing. It's like I, I should have known that it was always going to be you. That at the end of the day, it would be you that will always have my back. And I say this, and I've said this before, and I'm going to say it to you again. And I believe I said this shit in the fucking Pisces reading. Y'all go back and look at the Pisces reading. Even if the person came back, it's the way that the person is coming back. Why in the fuck would you want them? Because y'all got to understand, I'm not these tarot readers that's going to sit here and be like, Oh, this person is coming back. They want to reconnect with you, this, this, and that. But there's some secrets. But they just, no, 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 no. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit you gotta listen to what miss nina and what miss patsy is saying to you about <clears throat> making decisions and things in your life and you gotta look about what's here there's some secrets there's some shit going on that you don't know about this person's intentions on why they're coming back only reason why they're coming back is because they feel like you will take care of them and they'll look at you as charity that they could come and give you some saw bad story about how fucked up their life is and that you will give to them and take care of them like fucking charity i'm not about to sit here and hold you I'm not helping you by feeding you some poppycock ass bullshit. And I, I will not fucking do it. The ace of swords. Me telling you the truth is not me being a good person. And I will not do it. This person is only coming back because they are fucking bumming. They're probably fucking homeless. Don't want to go back to their mother's house. Don't want to go live in the shelter. They probably ain't ate a full meal in a couple of days. Like I said, this person is going to come to you hungry. Like literally about to try to eat you out of a fucking house at home. I want to say like maybe him and whoever he was with might have just got put out and this bitch went back to her mother to her mother house or his mother house or something. I want to say like some people just might have got fucking evicted or something like that. Whoever he was with, these people might have had like a hardship or something and either that relationship didn't work out and the person that he was with put them or he or she was with put them out. And right now they're struggling having to rely on faith. Because it's like they're literally on crutches. Like whoever this person is that they're coming back to you hiding some levels of truth. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're going to come to you and try to make it seem like you are. What is it? Author, author's, uh, uh, author's sword or, or in the stone or some shit like that. Like Arthur, like King Arthur. Like you, could, like you have the ability, like you have the bloodline, author's bloodline. Or you can pull this motherfucking, uh, what do what they call it? Excalibur. Where you can pull the Excalibur out the fucking stone. Like, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> this person is going to try to rub it on real thick. What is this? The Ten of Swords. This is something that. You already chopped your losses up to the situation before. Like, this person is coming to you dead on arrival. It's like. What the fuck do you even want me to do with this? Like, at the end of the day, whatever the fuck me and you had was dead and gone. You're coming to me talking about, I always knew it was you. I always knew that you would have my back. I always knew after everyone turned their back on me, that it would always lead me, lead me back to you. I don't know who told you to, do, <laughs> to be led back to me. Don't come back to me at your last Pantyless, broke, busted, and disgusted, and expecting me to put you together just so you could turn your back on me and hand me your ass to kiss while you go back out there and go do the same shit. Are y'all following me? Are you following me? This person is only coming back because they look at you as a good woman. As a good woman, or you are 
a good man that has a very nurturing motherly quality to you because maybe you were raised by a whole lot of women you know how to cook you keep a very clean environment and you're very nurturing to the women in your life and you take good care of your mother your sister and stuff like that and that's just how you are you are a committed family man you're a, you're a family person you don't even like going out of the house that much and being all out in the streets. You like to be in your comfortability of your home and taking care of your family. And this person wants back into your family. This person wants you to charitably give to them in such nature. In such nature. But you've been bit by this beast before. Never trust cures from systems that made you sick. When love is no longer on the men, you do not eat. If you... <laughs> do not see the truth in this situation and like I said I asked why the fuck would you think after everything that was said and done people being left out in the cold having to fend for it so I, I fend for myself and I ended up out okay you understand what I'm saying I ended up okay ain't nobody told you to take your little rabbit ass over there with that little bitch and end up <laughs> Ain't nobody told you to do that. Ain't nobody told you to do that. And that, like I see, like you know how some shelters and stuff like that, you gotta be there by a certain time or like the line is shut down and stuff like that. This, this is a motherfucker that done had to sleep outside with his bitch a couple of times because they ain't make it to the line so they could get a motherfucking bed and shit. And so now he about to up and just leave his bitch and go and say, oh, I'm gonna come and fuck with you because I know shit. I can't bring you with me. I'm just, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Like, I really do feel like it's someone that is keep getting denied on the child line because they keep coming too late and they felt like I'm not about to spend another day out here with her when I know I could come over here to you and you'll let me in and you'll give me a hot in a cot and a hot loaf of bread and a piece of cheese and a, and a nice cold glass of milk. You understand what I'm saying? Judgment in reverse. This person is trying to resurrect a situation with Taurus from the dead, but Taurus is not having that shit. Taurus is not having that shit. What is it called? Double je jeopardy? You know, like when you've already tried and ruled on a case and then they try to bring the shit back up. Like, th no, just say, th th that's double jeopardy, nigga. I don't already... I don't already... We done already did this before. Like, what the, Like, what you trying? Re resurrect some shit? Like, you trying... Well, no, no, absolutely no. This person is trying to resurrect this situation and trying to find love. Again, because, like, this person has gone through... This person has gone through a lot. <laughs> Look, you see how the cat rubbing all up on him and everything like that. Like... I feel like ugh, Ten of Cups in reverse. The Six of Swords in reverse. The star. <laughs> now they got faith in you. <laughs> they see you as the Queen of Pentacles. Not only as they see you as a nurturing and emotionally fulfilling woman, but they see you as someone who has the coin too. <laughs> the Page of Cups. <laughs> Taurus is holding back. They said, I already ended this shit with you before. <laughs> you think I'm about to open myself up. And let me introduce you to the Grim Reaper. Just in case you ain't get familiar with him last time. If you don't get the fuck on somewhere. If you don't get the fuck on somewhere looking for some charity. Talking about you need a hot and a cot and a muff. Bitch. I feel like we keep doing this every motherfucking month with Taurus. It's like somebody, like Taurus, like give me, y'all please give me confirmation. Is this like an ex or someone that's coming back and they're really trying to nag their way back into your life? Like that's what I feel. That's what I feel. Like this person thinks that you're going to have this lack of judgment because they're coming to you with some sob story. Taurus does not care. I really do feel like Taurus is in love with someone else. You see that pretty white cat? There ain't no black cats around. There ain't nothing. Like, Taurus is already in a situation with someone who loves them the way that Taurus... I mean, more than... They're with someone, actually, that loves Taurus more than Taurus loves them. <laughs> Look. He loved Taurus. The cat loved Taurus. Like, everybody, like, the whole family. Like, they're in a situation... Literally, there is love on the table. 
There's love on the table. So why would I have a lack of judgment when this situation has already been laid in to rest? You, you stabbed me in my back more times than I can count. More times than I can count. I can find, I found love now. I finally got in a place where I'm emotionally mature and I'm in a safe place. And now you're trying to come back and remind me of everything that we had in the past. And yeah, but we had this. Remember we had a dog. Well, I got a cat now. I got a nigga. He got a cat and we good. Okay. I ain't got no dog. When I had the dog, you ain't even helped me take care of it. So what the fuck is the point of you bringing up? You and your mongrel mud ass of a fucking dog that you done bought in my house that you allowed to chew up on my furniture. What the fuck is your point, sir? What's your point? I don't know why you don't got your ass on that ferry and done bought your rabbit ass the, fact, <laughs> the fuck on back here. But listen, whoever the fuck you been talking to that gave you this good faith and all of this shit and told you that you were going to be fortunate and look that I was the queen of pentacles and the only thing you got to do is send me a message and all that shit. Who, who told you to do this? Who told you to do this? You see how the the fish jump right back? I, I like the Pisces must have learned real quick fucking around with the Taurus. Okay, let me just go on back to where I came from because this communication. You know, I'm I'm trying to tell this girl that I love her and I want. I see her as you know what I'm saying. I, 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 I faith, the moon, and the stars. Like I have a lot of. You know, emotions vested in this. I have a lot of hopes and dreams. I see a lot of beautiful stuff. I really do feel like with you that you can plant this seed with me. And this this can grow appropriately right this time. But, you know, like... What? This person is going to realize real quick that Taurus is in love and already in a relationship with someone else. Okay? It don't matter if you try to come back here and take a bath in these spiritual waters and now you got faith and you all... You know, <laughs> you all erratic now because you want someone to have the faith and belief system that you have. Now, don't nobody give a shit. And the only reason why you believe that right now is because you're on your last leg. If you were not on your last leg and in dire straight, you were not fucking thinking about Taurus. You were sitting over here with this bitch. Fuck out of here. You was not thinking about Taurus until shit went bad in your life. Like, come on. That's why Taurus is holding their self back. They're being stingy with their self. I don't even see them giving you too much time to even keep running and talking to you. Like, as soon as you motherfuckers say something, up, oh, Rim Reaper, let me introduce you to my friend, Hal. Hi. Meet, meet, meet him. Speak to him. Okay? Hold on. How did Nicki Minaj say? Oh, I don't even know why y'all is talking to me. Y'all need to talk to my husband. Look, <laughs> Taurus said you need to talk to my husband. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, Austin told the motherfucker, look, my husband a motherfucking uh, uh, blood or something. I'm sending them gangbangers at you. Sue whoop, bitch. Okay? Nicki Minaj better stop that shit. Because I'm trying to tell you, you gonna, okay, we ain't coming here to talk about Nicki Minaj. Y'all better stop fancying yourself by hanging around with these thug ass niggas because don't 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 forget that this is a thug and when he wanna act thug when you don't be running crying oh well, but he beat me. But you wanted to be with a thug, right? Oh, okay. So I don't wanna hear that shit. Alright? Don't want hair. Anyway, we're going to skip on. we going to float on, float on. Y'all had some mad Nicki Minaj fans. <laughs> All right. So, clarifying this. Okay. We got the two of clubs. We got the three of diamonds. And we got the ten of hearts. All right. So, with this two of clubs... This two of clubs right here, I really do feel like this is some type of invitation for some type of new business venture or something like that. Like, um, you might be going for two, like you might have a job and you might be going into another job or you're going for two different positions. It has something to do with work, you know what I'm saying, and your social, your social activity and how you moving forward in action with people. You know what I'm saying? And I really do feel like, for some reason, I feel like the fact that this person is coming back like this and you had to hold on. Because I think Taurus knows that this person is coming back because they want money. I feel like before when Taurus was with this person and Taurus was the primary one taking care of both of them in this situation, 
Tourists don't work like that no more. And it almost is delighting them that you came back. Because they knew you were going to come back. And they were just waiting for you to come back so they could tell you, get thine fuck out my face. Bitch, go on somewhere. Go on, hop your happy ass back in that motherfucking sea. Because I don't want you to be communicating with me anymore. You're still immature. You still have a lot to learn. You still need to grow the fuck up. You're not on the level that I need you to be. If you are looking at me as the queen of cups and the queen of pinnacles, what the fuck makes you think I would deal with a page? You've been upstaged. Bye-bye. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Take care now. Bye-bye then, girl. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Bye-bye. Okay? Listen. He might not be too happy about it, but at the end of the day, you see these people on his car. I told you before he came to you, he left some bitch sitting outside in the motherfucking Listen, Both of them was fucked up and poor and couldn't feed themselves and shit. Like, why you leave that girl out there like that? You think you about to bring that negative ass karma to me? Oh, you thought you was about to bring... Oh, hell no. You would not fuck around and leave... <laughs> no, no, no. That will not be on my head. You will not. And I'm trying to tell y'all, watch who y'all come in connection with and who you be communicating and, 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 and who you work with and stuff like that because you might be picking up somebody else's negative karma because of the way that they came to you. That's why I say ask questions about motherfuckers because you might not even know. You thinking that it's, you know... A fortunate situation and you know what I'm saying but I really do feel like I really 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 do feel like this here you know that's why you giving him that little look you see mm, mm, mm. number one you excited that this motherfuckers is coming back just so you can shut them down you are excited that this person is coming back just so you can tell bitch you don't see all of this that I got you don't see how I'm good around this bitch? You don't see how I'm good around this bitch? I ain't tripping on you, Slim. If you don't carry your rabbit ass the fuck on somewhere and go find something to do with yourself, baby. Listen, <laughs> I am Winang, okay? Winang, okay? Who's that girl? Me. Who's that girl? Me, bitch. Me, bitch. You see how she's a... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this person is rubbing <laughs> how good they are without this Pisces. I really do feel like, I feel like y'all are dealing with a Pisces because I, I see too much Pisces energy here. I really do feel like they are like, look, put my lips, look, the devil, what, I mean, hold on, what did they say? The Lord will allow you to put your lipstick on in face of the devil or some shit like that in face of your enemy or something. Honey, you are putting your lipstick on in front of thine enemy. Stunting on a hoe. Let's clarify this, y'all. Let's motherfucking clear. Let's get some clarifications. Let's get some clarifications. Let's get some clarifications, y'all. So, we are going to... The two of clubs, okay. I am reloading. No, the, no, okay, we got the three of diamonds right here. The three of diamonds is a small sum of money, a payment of financial growth, partial success, partial effort, part-time work, scattered energy, on and off again, uh, preservance. I can't ever say that word. Preservance is needed for success a lack of focus or commitment in a relationship of reading that shows fickleness or changeability so like i said like how can taurus even entertain you when they got someone that is literally the love of their life that they look up to and they wake up to every day and they're happy like taurus is happy like taurus it's not bothered by you. Like I said, they're, if anything, they're fucking laughing at you. And Taurus is preserving their energy. And they're giving you half-ass quick responses. Half-ass energy. Because at the end of the day, I really do feel like the only reason why Taurus is even communicating with this person. And so when they see them in person, like they can shut them down and make them feel like a fucking ass. Like I really do feel like that. So if you're dealing with a Taurus, don't be... 
don't be surprised if you got a social invitation just so tourists can smugly smile in your face and tell you to fuck off. You understand what I'm saying? The two of clubs, a social or business invitation, a business or social correspondent, or any kind of benefits being given or received or exchanged, a gift, a birthday, or anniversary present, something being given or received not limited to material things only a gift could be someone's time or their energy being given freely you know so like i said they're about to give you your a part of their time and some of your energy but it's half-ass energy it's scattered energy because they got a bigger fish to fry with you so like they're playing cute with you real quick because they know when they motherfucking <laughs> When they see you, they're going to throw in, the, in your face that they in love with someone else, baby. They're going to put their in, they're going to put their lipstick on in the face of their enemy. It says, it may be a piece of helpful advice, a special favor, or even a bit of good news, a clock or time. A clock or time. So like I said, don't be surprised. If this person comes trying to reconnect with you, if Taurus actually accepts the invitation only to come around and act smug and fickle and have scattered ass energy and keep looking at their phone because they have a man. What's your man got to do with me? I got a man. I'm not trying to hear that. See, I got a man. What's your man trying to do with me? I got a man. I'm not trying to hear that. Okay. <laughs> the 10 of hearts represents victory emotional fulfillment happiness enjoyment amusements this is amusing to Taurus. emotional commitment marriage capability compatibility um heat warm weather the summertime i'm trying to tell you i'm trying before this summer is out Taurus will be able to put their lipstick on in the face of their enemy they're going to accept this person's invitation. This person wants to meet up with Taurus. But like I'm trying to tell you. It may look like an honest invitation. Where you know. They're even they're going to be communicating back and forth. Oh it's nice to hear you. Blah blah blah. And this person like. Oh yeah I've been through all this shit. Oh for real. Oh my god. No I would love to see you. Let's come talk. <laughs> and as soon as y'all get around like. The Pisces or the water sign is going to jump right back in the sea. It's just going to be like, oh, this motherfucker played with me like shit. You called me all the way out here and you were communicating only to hold yourself back and to throw your accomplishments without me in front of my face and to cut me off. Yes, you're fucking right. Like, that's exactly what Taurus is about to do, y'all. I don't even really want to go no further into this deck because, like, I don't really know what more I can say, like, right there. Let's get into the Lenormand. That's what we really need to do. No. Clarify the um the two the two of cups. The soulmate. The soulmate energy here. What's the soulmate? The seven of diamonds. The seven of diamonds. The seven of diamonds. I feel like this is a more older person. I feel like this person is laid back. The seven of diamonds, the eight of clubs. The king of diamonds. The nine of clubs. Okay. So what I'm getting here. Number one. I feel like this person that Taurus is with is older than them. I feel like this person is patient. They're mature. Um, with this eight of clubs right here. I definitely feel like uh, Taurus has stepped up. In regards to taking authority in their life and like redesigning their outlook on things like I really do think that they have a new perspective a new look they're more action oriented they're more goal oriented um they're really about business and they look the part they smell the part they taste the part like they are the part that part you understand what I'm saying I feel like Taurus has done a lot of rebuilding work like a lot of work to Whatever work that was needed in order to ensure their success and that they look good and feel good going into the future. I feel like this is someone that turned a hard time into a hard victory. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, this Johnny Cash, 
this king of diamonds right here, this person that they're dating with right here, this is someone, I believe this person is like, um, this is a person I feel like, I see two, this might be someone that's in the music industry, but I don't think that they're in the music industry, like they're an actual performer. I feel like they make music, um, like they're a music conductor or something like that. Um, could play like some type of bass guitar or some type of guitar or like an electric keyboard or they can just make beats. They make beats like I feel like this person could make this music or they can create whatever they do. Like with that blindfolded, like they could play their, their instrument blindfolded or something like that. They really put their heart into their craft and their music and everything. And I really do feel like this person was so fixated and focused on their ability to create music and making money. Like, I feel like whoever this person that y'all are with, the Taurus is with, that they're in this loving relationship right here. Taurus coming into their life, it gave them a break from the monotony of their fucking work. I really do feel like it, 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 it breaks up the day. I feel like with these diamonds, these people... um. Educational wise, they're on the same page. They have the same belief system, the same goals. I feel like these people talk a lot about work and like I want to say like it, this couple is like a power couple. Like they make money together, they make moves together. I mean, they make music together. Like, they are the fucking shit. Like, they are the fucking shit. And with this king of diamonds here, this king of diamonds is someone that's, like, a quality-based gentleman. Like, this is a gentleman. This man dresses very nice. And that's why Taurus, if you looked at Taurus, Taurus may be a little bit different than the way that you might have seen her before. Taurus might be dressing and wearing a lot of fancy clothes. That's because he buys them for her. He likes his girl to look a certain type of way. He carries himself a certain type of way. He works hard and he plays hard. And that's all I'm going to tell you. And he takes good goddamn care of his woman. Good goddamn care of his woman. And I want to say... When Taurus comes to tell him, oh, you know, so-and-so came back, he's going to be laughing. Like, she'll be like, oh, well, I don't even see that nigga. <laughs> I will not even see him. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, they are a fucking, like, for real, for real, a goddamn power couple, you guys. So, let's, 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 let's break into this real quick. So, let's clarify this. So this side, the seven of diamonds, financial achievement, reward, recognition, earn success, steady improvement, efforts, reward, lucky money wins, a pay raise, improved prospects, a nest egg, financial achievement, stocks, bonds, and e-trading. So like I said, whoever this person is that Taurus is dealing with, like they're very successful. They got old money. Whoever this is has old fucking money. And then let me show you one more time. The King of Diamonds is an intelligent, dynamic, professional man. Restless, energetic. There's usually money around him. He may be a wealthy politician or an account executive, a real estate broker, a CPA, an investment banker, or a government official. He takes great pride in his professional persona do you hear what i'm saying i told you this man looks like money and he makes sure that he dresses his woman to match his persona okay if he is not careful he can become consumed by his work and neglect other areas of his life he may be a relative by marriage and i told y'all the reason why this man loves her so much because only thing he had in his life was his work. Do you and his cat? <laughs> I feel like this man has a cat. Only thing he had was in his life was his work and his cat. I don't even feel like this man has children. Look how he's hugging her. Look how he's loving her. Look how that cat loves her. Like I really do feel like he loves her. Taurus found love. 
We found a love in a hopeless place. 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 I feel like that is two motherfucking different songs. So forgive me if that shit wasn't the motherfucking Rihanna song anyway. Oh, we found love in a hopeless place. Okay, anyway. The eight of clubs represents the day-to-day -day activity, a routine. It can indicate how someone spends their time. Most people spend a great part of their days working. So this is the work card. It can represent a job or what someone does for a living. This card can also denote working something out. It's also a car of business and social sharing and reciprocation. It can indicate conversations being discussed, meetings, a conference, a seminar, a symposium, a forum, a roundtable discussion. Okay? A roundtable discussion. And I'm... T <laughs> I'm trying... Oh, and then I want to say that this girl might be into fashion. She either does fashion or people makeup or something like that. I want to say that... She either works in a clothing store, she dresses people or does people's makeup or something like that. She has some, it's something about, she loves, her self-esteem is her look, it's her makeup, it's her outer exterior. Like, this bitch looks good. Do you understand? And I'm trying to tell y'all, they're going to have this round table discussion about this shit going on. And your man is going to laugh. Whoever the man it is that Taurus is with is laughing at the ex because they don't even fucking see you like they are so fucking they're so good like they're laughing do you understand what i mean the nine of clubs is traditionally a card of luck of travel of achievements luck in business a lucrative business or opportunity a lucky break or successful career move Taurus made the best possible move ever and it's like the fact that this person is coming back broke bothered and fucking disgusted Taurus is going to go back to their man and be like bitch can you fucking believe this person is still bothering me and like Taurus whoever the person that Taurus is with this man is laughing because the ex cannot see this man by a long shot not financially, not spiritually, not emotionally what they provide to Taurus not on no fucking level and I mean no fucking level no level do you understand do you understand? This card can represent an emotional uh, uh, or spiritual journey or a quest for self. Do you understand? So, I don't know. I just heard study long, study wrong. <laughs> study long, study the fuck wrong. Never trust cures from the system that made you sick. I feel like when you came into this King of Diamonds heart in this place, you show him that there's more to life than just work. And this person loves you for that because it, it's more than just making money. You know what I'm saying? And being successful. And now this person has someone that they can make money, be successful, and love to all together. The gentleman. I'm trying to tell you, Taurus is with a good man they're not worried Taurus is not worried about this ex at all the gentleman and the lady listen to me Taurus is in love they're happy leave Taurus the fuck alone leave them two alone don't bring them to your negative energy none of your negative karma none of your bullshit over here you made your bed lay in it and leave these people the fuck alone Taurus don't want you. Taurus don't need you. At all. And I told you this person is just trying to find a home. It's, this person is homeless. Look, you got the dog and the fox and the ring. Do you understand? And I told you, the only reason why this person is sleazy and sliding his ass back around, like I said, this person needs a place to stay they're looking for a companion do you understand they're looking for some type of commitment they're looking for stability they're not looking for a wife they're looking for a companion this person is a fucking dog you guys know that as soon as you heal this person back to good health they're going to be back sliding the fuck out with their same treachery and their bullshit that they were up to in the beginning 
you already know what this person is capable of. So it doesn't matter if they're coming back offering you a ring and trying to tell you how much they love you and all of the bullshit they went through and they're so they always knew it would be you. They just try and get back in this house. They're still a dog. They're just going through some shit right now and they need you. They need your companionship. Do you understand? It's all propaganda. It's all bullshit. As soon as this person gets healed and emotionally sucks and drains you of all your positive energy, they're going to sneak back out and they're going to do the same bullshit. The same treacherous, deceptive ass bullshit again. And that ring ain't going to mean shit. Do you understand? You will regret it. Never trust cures from a system that made you sick. That's what I'm going to name this goddamn video. Because that is the best. I don't know who wrote this deck, this Oracle deck. That is the that is the best fucking line I have ever heard in my life. Never trust cures from a system that made you sick. When love is no longer on the menu, don't eat it. There is nothing more beautiful than speaking truth to power. What is this? Understanding success in the reverse. Now you you guys understand now. I can't continue past lives. You not listen. The source. Again, never trust cures from the system. The source. The past life events and the exact source that made you sick in the first place. The one thing that showed you what false love is. Don't trust this motherfucker. Don't give this motherfucker not a bit of your attention. You won't give him enough attention to tell him to get the fuck out my face. <laughs> Taurus understands now. Taurus understood, like, and, and, and it's sad, but true. But if Taurus would have never dealt with this ass, if Taurus would have never dealt with this asshole here, they would have never been able to appreciate a good, hardworking man. Never. Taurus don't give a fuck about none of that past life shit. That chapter is closed. It's closed. So I understand that this person is going to try to reopen it, but. Taurus is going to open up that door and say, you're the source of all of this bullshit. And I feel like Taurus might have lost a baby by this person before. After she aborted or there was a miscarriage due to stress and drama. Taurus don't want nothing to do with you. I heard it was a... I heard that she just said this was my first. That was her first baby. I want to say like... A Taurus might have aborted their first pregnancy because of the source of who they were pregnant by. And they didn't want to be trapped. They know that this person only comes around. This person only comes around when they need something. And that's fucked up. So let's go into the love portion of this reading. Even though this does sound like love to begin with, but when I do the general energy, I don't know what the hell gonna come out. Sometimes it could be career. Sometimes it could be man. I done had some some general energies that came out with some street life shit, <laughs> like some gangster shit. I done had all type of stuff come out in the general energy. Sometimes it already hits on love. Sometimes it hits on career. Sometimes it hits on finance. So hold on, real quick, y'all. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry for the interruption, you guys. I just heard somebody. Okay, yeah, I done completely fucked up my video. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I heard someone open up my damn door, y'all. Right, hold up, bitch. Watch out, little bitch. <laughs> anyway, okay, so. Y'all got to see my little pretty face real quick. 
Not that y'all don't already see it on the morning slide. Shout out to everyone who watches me on the morning slide. And if you guys are interested, y'all go ahead and check that about tap out. I got some merch. Got a cute little morning slide mug. So if y'all want to sip your tea with me in the morning, y'all just go ahead and get y'all a little morning slide mug. Okay, so let's see what's going on with our singles. What's going on with my single Tauruses? It says fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. Fuck Taurus gotta apologize for. Fuck we apologizing for. Okay? Ain't apologizing for shit. Sorry, no. <laughs> Alright, so I feel like that there might be something that you might need to apologize for. Oh. Because this person is coming back complaining about something that you did. This person is going to try to come back and bring up some old shit. Like you broke their heart because you did something. Just fucking apologize for it and just be done with it. And tell them, and go the fuck on about your business. It says, eat some shit made by Mother Nature. Eat your fucking vegetables. I feel like you guys have not been taking care of your body the way that you should. Y'all been eating a lot of fast food. And like microwave stouffer meals and shit. It is disgusting. That is disgusting. Oh, y'all don't know how to cook. Oh. It's somebody that don't know how to cook. You need to learn how to cook, boo. It says don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. It says you need some fucking alone time. And you know why. Hmm. So. Hmm. I definitely feel like. You're definitely not giving this person attention. I don't feel like you guys are dealing with any type of anxiety or anything like that. But there's something that this person is complaining about. It's something that this person is complaining about. And they want you to apologize for something. But I don't really feel like you need to apologize for anything. Because I feel like this person is trying to make themselves to be out of victim when you're the victim. When you're the victim. You know what I'm saying? Like this person did something to you. This person did something to you. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking alone time and you know why. And they want you to eat healthy. So, Because I, I think it's something about you needing to have a healthy mindset and a healthy thinking around a situation. Give me some guidance and love for my singles. My Taurus, my singles. It says trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Hmm. I want to know what this apology is for. It's something that you need to apologize about. And you need to take better health and better care of your body so that you can think straight. So you can verbalize what you're feeling correctly. And spirit doesn't want you to, I guess, have this conversation until you've kind of got a kind of healthy balance on your mindset and stuff like that. And I don't think God wants you... Mm -mm. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Give me guidance. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some alone time and you know the fuck why. You gotta get your thoughts together. And it's something you got to apologize about. What's going on? Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. <gasps> oh, it's about getting rid of the baby. It's about the baby. It's 
it's about this. It's about the baby. It's about the baby. Look at this. It's an embryo in it. It's in the reverse. There was a miscarriage. I don't. I don't. There were, I don't. I don't think there was a stillbirth. I don't think it was a stillbirth. I feel like it was either a determination or it was a miscarriage. Either it was a miscarriage due to some type of stress or something. Because this person kept stressing and worrying about if they made a mistake by getting pregnant by this person. And I think that's why Spirit is trying to tell you to take care of your body. Because your body already dealt with this trauma. There's some concerns. There, there's some concerns about, I feel like, I feel like there's, there's some concerns about if this person is going to have the balls to bring this conversation up about this baby and all of this stuff like that. I really do feel like that's what this is behind. Bad health, yeah. I feel like you guys had, y'all lost this baby due to stress. Do the stress and, and it was too much drama. It was too much drama journey because you felt like this person was going to abandon you with that child. And if you didn't lose the child due to stress, you just terminated the pregnancy because you just wanted to move away from this situation. You realized that it was I it was either a termination or you got bed written i mean like what's bed written no you got put on bed rest or something like that because it was a high risk pregnancy and there was a lot of concerns and shit going on with this person and i really do feel like there was a loss of this child because after the person was never there after the person was never there they were in and out or you knew that this person was eventually going to leave and i feel like that worry and stuff caused complications with this pregnancy and you lost the pregnancy because of your concerns about this person being inconsistent. That's why I'm like, I don't understand what you got to apologize for. But I still feel like this Taurus, kind of, like that shit eats, eats at this Taurus. And I also feel like this person that you're dealing with. This person, I feel like may try to use that. And that's not fucking cool. That's not cool at all. What is this? The page of cups. The fucking page of cups. This immature ass motherfucker. This water sign that you was with. This is the person. Like I'm trying to tell you like. This page of cups is a fucking asshole. And you see him just got a little red head. Just keep pouring wine over her back and shit like that. Like this person is a fucking dick. It's immature. Only thing that this person gives a fuck about. Is whatever is that is emotionally fulfilling this person. Like this person could be. And this person could possibly be on the down low. I'm sorry. Let's keep it 100. Every time I see this car. I am not going to sit there and act like it ain't two niggas. Balls to balls. Walls to balls. Laying next to each other. Okay. Okay. I'm re-fucking loading. I'm sorry. This is the sun card. This is about to be. Um. If you don't know. Now you motherfucking know. The fuck. This person is immature. This person will fuck any Tom, Dick, or motherfucking Harry. Any Sally, Jesse, Raphael, Sue. Any goddamn body. Ten of spades in reverse. So you already got rid of this motherfucker in your life. Like, what the fuck is the point of you allowing this person to come back in here? What is this? The emperor in reverse. And this person... That is the reason why you lost the pregnancy. This person was not reliable. This person was not responsible. There was a lot of secrets going on with this person. There was a lot of shit that, is, that has yet to even be revealed about the true nature of this person. The true nature of this person. Do you understand what I'm saying? This water sign. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I'm going to let this marinate right here. Especially if you feel like this person is real catty. You don't really like the energy coming off of one of this person's best friends or something like that. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not about to sit here and be playing with y'all with these motherfucking cards. When I see this card come out. When I see the beard card pop, uh, pop out. We going to take that shit as face value for what the fuck it means. Beard means that someone is a cover up for a gay relationship. And you, you damn sure see what the fuck is on this card. So run tell that. 
Run to that Lady Reds told you. This motherfucker fuck niggas, bitches, every goddamn thing. Whatever the fuck will make that. Any, look, a lot will make this motherfucker's dick hard. You understand what I'm saying? This person just be playing around. Study long, study wrong. This person made a whole bunch of stupid ass decisions in their life and they trying to come back and try to see if they could come and fuck up your life a goddamn game with this immature ass bullshit. And like I told you, just as soon as you heal them back to safe measures, they gonna be back out there on their bullshit again. They gonna be laid up with you. Whole time you probably thinking this nigga laid up with a fucking bitch. This motherfucker laid up with their best friend. I bet you ain't see that one coming. I bet you ain't think you was going to get fucked that way. Now, did you? Leave well enough alone. I don't give a fuck what this person try to say. I don't give a fuck if this person try to come back. Oh, but you aborted our baby and all this stuff. And why would you think I wouldn't take care of it? Because they would not have. And you know it. And you know it. So don't let this person try to come back around and try to feed you that poppycock ass goddamn bullshit. Fuck that nigga. And y'all know, you know, this could be um, vice versa. So if this is like you a man and, you know, some woman that you were dealing with, uh, you feel like she aborted the baby and all that shit like that. It's probably because she was living a different lifestyle than what you were living. Do you understand what I'm saying? It was some shit going on in the background that you had no idea about. And it's going to be illuminated to you with that son. Do you understand what I'm saying? Something about that birth. And then for my couples, it's saying, you are giving too many fucks. Give zero. Give zero. You already in a happy relationship. You give two, like, look, it says, go on a real fucking date. Smell good and get your sexy on. All right? So don't even give your energy to this asshole that's trying to come back and all this stuff when you already got you a good wife or you already got you a good man. The only motherfuckers that you need to be focused on is you two right here. Not no past life situation. Not no source of this of the baby that's not here, unfortunately. Do you understand what I'm saying? Stop. Don't give a fuck about this person. Like, even if it makes you laugh, like, I can't believe this motherfucker came back. Don't even give your energy to that. You understand what I'm saying? Don't even give your energy to that. Every time this person try to contact you, just put more energy into the man that really give a fuck about you. And you go on a real date. It says that person. Oh, and then it's saying the person that you with. It said that person better get laid now. It says one of you is doing too many fucking chores. That person better get laid now. So, we already know that the man that you with, that this is a hard worker. This is a hard worker. I really do feel like the last thing that this person needs is to be hearing about you coming to them every other day about your ex trying to contact you and this, this, and that. This person don't need to hear that. You are giving too much of a fuck about your past life. You understand what I'm saying? In the source of the misery of everything that happened to you before. Go on a real date with the person that really loves you. And stop giving a fuck. Give zero about your past. Do you understand what I'm saying? The band that you work with takes care of you well and works hard. That person is getting busting their ass every goddamn day to be a good man to you. And I feel like just like you did in the beginning, you reminded this person that it's more to life than just work and making money. It's about love. I want you to not be distracted by something in your past. And I want you to take your man out and make sure that he gets laid now because he deserves it. Let's see what um, you two got to say to each other. So this person is saying, I know I made a huge mistake. I know that I've made a huge mistake. It says, there are so many things unsaid between us. So the person that is coming back, that's making this disruption in your life. And they're saying, you've affected my life significantly. Significantly. Okay. So this person that is coming back, that is trying to disrupt your happy home, your happy union with the person that you're with. They know that they made a huge mistake by leaving you thinking something was better on the outside. Clearly, and you see, they got stuck on the outside. Poor. <laughs> this is wait. 
Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Wait, wait, wait. Why are we waiting? It says a message for you. I am thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Oh my God. Like this person from your past is really trying this shit. So it's like. <laughs> This person from your past, I really do feel their presence is so much like the person that you're with, this king of diamonds, he's focused on money. Like literally, this man works so hard. When he when he comes home, he's gonna come home to a hot meal, be able to sit up under the covers, rub on your booty, eat some good food, have some sex, and go to sleep. Like this person, like really works so much that they just be tired and you need to be that constant driving force that reminds this person it's not all about money let me love on you i want you to plan a date i want you to put your 100 percent focus on the person that you with do not i really don't want y'all to entertain any of this idi idiocracy from your past because this person wants to try to break. This person wants to try to break this commitment, this bond that you have here. They're trying to tell you to rate. Don't make any uh, rash decisions. I'm thinking of you very at this very moment. We don't care what you're thinking of. The only reason why you're thinking about that shit is because you're trying to get back into that house because you need a place to stay. I'm not doing it. I'm not even about to do this shit. Pathway. You're on the right path. Do you understand what I'm saying, Taurus? You're on the right path. What does it say? Poverty. And if you entertain this person, they're going to pull you right down to the bottom of the barrel with them. If you entertain your past and don't focus on the, private, on the presence, you're going to be on a pathway to poverty right where they at listen you're gonna be sitting right right out there singing good times at the child line with your ex <laughs> what is it saying high honor keep yourself in high honor and high regard at all time pay your past the 21 gun salute coffin do you see what i'm saying call fin dead on arrival i don't even know why you got here but it was dead on arrival i don't know what you're trying to resurrect or what you're trying to do but you are not allowed or welcome in my home i told you all of this has to do with this home this person needing a foundation and that ain't the way you go about it that ain't the way you go about it bringing up fucking pregnancies and shit and you ain't even like no, like that's the, like that's fucked up, man. That's fucked up, man. And it's like the only reason why she got rid of this baby or this baby isn't here is because you were the emperor in reverse. You were going to abandon this woman with that fucking baby. Because I feel like he abandoned this one with a motherfucking baby sitting outside of fucking shelter. Like I really do feel whoever this is that he just left. This person left this woman in shambles. Or whoever this man is that she just left, she left this man in destitute. Do you understand what I'm saying? Destitute. the fucking two. You don't want to align yourself with someone like that. When when shit get fucked up, they'll leave you. They'll leave you in the, mi in the midst of the worst. What is this? The four swords. Yes, like I said, this is towards standing on there. On their wits. They're withdrawing themselves. They're retreating. Like. I don't even. Even know what to say to you. What is this? This is the queen of fucking wands. Really? This how the queen of wands going? Wow. This the queen of wands card y'all. Look at, look at her. Look at her. Look at her go. Tell me when to 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 go. Bitch. I wish you would fuck up a good thing with a good man. With a crab in a barrel ass hoe. 
Didn't that say crab in the burrow, asshole? You bet not. You bet not. You bet not. You bet not. And I'm looking at her face. She looks angry. It's like... If you don't get the fuck out my face, what, you, what the fuck you look at me like you think I'm some fucking type of whore or something? Didn't I tell you that I had a motherfucking man? Didn't I tell you that I had a man? Why in the fuck won't you take a no for a no and go on somewhere about your business? I really do feel like this person isn't listening and made Taurus upset. Because the Queen of Wands in the reverse can be a bitch. She could be angry. She could be yelling. She could be ready to fight someone. What is this? The High Priestess in reverse. Look at it in the upright. You see what the man in the background is doing? I really do feel like you're holding something back from this person. I really do feel like the way that you really do feel about them. I feel like you're sitting on some information that you have about this person. You feel like this person is a complete fucking jerk off. I really do feel like you know about... The true demise and how far that this person has fallen from grace. But you're not letting them on to let them know what you know. I do feel like whenever this person comes around you. They weaken you and you don't feel strong. Because it's like. You talk all of that shit to other people. About oh yeah I would do this. I would do this. I would do that. But for some reason when you're around this person. You don't feel strong. Like, I don't, I, I don't feel like you feel your strength. You don't feel your strength. And this is the queen of coins in reverse. You don't feel your strength. You don't feel as powerful. And I, I, I'm trying to tell you that this person strips you naked of your assets. This person strips you naked of your assets. And they leave you poor. You feel powerless. And they leave you with nothing. And that's why she's sitting there. With that angry face on. With that resting bitch face. I don't want nothing to do with you. I really want you to leave me alone. I really really want you to leave me alone. I don't give a fuck. You can call me every whore in the book. Why? Because I don't want to be with you. Why? Because I don't suck your dick. And I'm telling you to go fuck off. Like, go fuck off. Go fuck off. I've heard everything that I need to hear about you. I don't I don't like being around people like you. Like, you, you, you make me look bad. Being around someone like you just really shows me how much I devaluate. How much I devaluate. Oh, my God. How much I devalue myself by doing something like that. You don't know your worth. And me fucking with you is showing that I don't know mine neither. And I damn sure know my worth. And I know that I'm way more worthy than the likes of you. Get your shit and get the fuck on. And go find somewhere to go play in traffic. And leave me the fuck alone. Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Again, never trust cures from the system that made you sick. When love is no longer on the table... Do not fucking eat. Jesus died for somebody's sins, but it ain't yours. And it damn sure ain't this. You strong enough to handle this on your own. Taurus, I love you. This has been your reading, y'all. This has been y'all reading. Y'all continue to stand up and stand on these hoes next. And make sure these bitches give you respect. Taurus, they will not ignore us today. Bye-bye.